I was diagnosed in 2011 with aorta stenosis. And they were going to replace the aorta by doing a tavern. And then he's like, but well, that was just, they couldn't do it. So they opened me up. Dr. Conti did. He was the last doctor that I saw at John Hopkins. You look great. Good job. Great to see you. How's everything at home? Good, good. So what's the magic number? Back to three. So I contacted Dr. Conti's um, nurse and says, I'm following him to Hershey. And he says, come on, I'll take care of you. Why? Because I knew he was the only one that knew my situation and that was willing to do what it took to help me. She absolutely had aortic stenosis. She also had left ventricular outflow tract stenosis as well. In, in fact, to call it stenosis is not actually accurate. It was underdeveloped. It would be the right size for someone who was probably a child, but not for a fully developed adult woman. In this situation, she really wasn't a candidate for a standard conventional operation. She would have need a very complicated operation. Well, before transcatheter valves or TAVR came onto the scene, one company made this elbow because it just wasn't used that often. I went and reached out to the representatives from this company and they helped me look throughout the United States and Europe and Asia for over a year. And we could not find any of these apical connectors. Penn State is renowned for building artificial hearts. In fact, they were one of the early developers of artificial hearts. So I thought, you know, we need to do something for this woman who really was not a candidate for anything else and she was either going to die because of this or we we're gonna build one of these apical connectors. So I went to Gus Rosenberg and I said, hey Gus, you know, can you build this for me? And, you know, I don't remember the exact words, but it was, are you kidding me? I could build it in my sleep. You know, wh how do you want it built? And he opens his drawer and shows me all these different widgets that he's made over the years. And so from his mechanical engineering and device manufacturing standpoint, it was a piece of cake. But then, to put it in a human, you have to get FDA approval. He treated me as if I was his, his family member. And he, he just talked to me and, and said to me, this is what we want to do. This is what I think you should do. What do you think? When you're a cardiac surgeon, you look at every patient as it's your job, right? You have to look at it like you are a craftsman or a technician, and that's what your job is. And whether we're doing this, or we're reconstructing someone's mitral valve, or their aortic root, or whatever we're doing, that's our job. Well, I think you look great. I mean, honestly, you look the best I've seen in two years. Yeah. Yeah. In two years. When everything started. I know for a fact that if it wasn't for Dr. Conti and his team taking the time to go to the FDA, the medical board, the, to making the blueprints without this valve that he took his time to do and plan for me, I would not make it. I would have not been here. I, Dr. Conti saved my life. <laughs>